Assalamualaikum. How are you, my Ecolier level students? We are going to solve sample paper of high key SC. As you know, the comprehension is given. You have to read it, and you have to focus on information and try to find the answers. Okay, let's start. The ostrich belong to the group of running bird. It can run, but it can't fly. The male may have a height of up to two seventy-five centimeter and a weight of up to one thirty kg kilogram. The wild duck is a water bird and may live in fresh water as well as in salty waters during the molt period when it's changing its feathers it can not fly and takes refuge in fertile zones where there is enough food the owl is a nocturnal raptor hunter bird it needs its claws for hunting it eats mice frogs birds insects while hunting the owl uses its fantastic hearing Nocturnal animal animals mean they hunt at night. The swan is a water bird. It has a jagged, rough beak. With its help, it catches and eats fish. It lays three to eight eggs in a nest near the water, and eggs hatch after thirty-five to forty-five days. Now, question number one: What kind of bird is the ostrich a nocturnal raptor bird no this is owl a water bird no this is swan and duck a running bird yes you can see it can run so ostrich is a running bird answer c is correct read other options as well is a migratory bird is a flying bird no it's, it's it can not fly now question number 2 The owl eats frogs, fruits, honey, flower, milk product. I think it eats frogs. You can see in this, he it eat mice, mice, frogs, bats, insects. So, D is correct option. Which bird does not fit in the following series of bird? Ostrich, swan, stork, duck, pelican. All are. watery bird or you can say they can live in water but ostrich is a running bird so a is correct does not fit now question number 4 an ostrich runs 10 km in 20 minutes how many kilometers will it run in 1 hour you know an hour has 60 minutes So when you divide sixty minutes twenty plus twenty plus twenty, in twenty minutes it can run ten kilometer. So ten plus ten plus ten, it is thirty. Ten kilometer, thirty kilometer, forty kilometer, fifty kilometer, fifteen kilometer. How many kilometers will it run in one hour? It means twenty plus twenty plus twenty, sixty minutes. 10 plus 10 plus 10, 30 kilometer is the correct answer. What do wild ducks do during the molt period? They fly? No, they cannot fly. They hibernate. They take refuge. They don't eat. They don't drink water. No, they eat. They take refuge. Answer C is correct. You can see during the molt period when it changes the feathers, it cannot fly. It takes refuge. in fertile zone where there is enough food it means it can eat as well as it can 
drink. So 5 is C is correct. Now another information is given. The sunflower is a plant whose name comes from the fact that its flower faces towards the sun during the day. Sunflowers are cultivated for their seeds from which oil is extracted. Used in cooking, seeds may be consumed raw or roasted. The sunflower is a meliferous plant, a plant from which bees gather pollen and make honey. Meliferous plant means bees gather pollen and make honey from it. The rape plant is mainly cultivated from oil. The rape seed oil is often used for industrial purposes and less in food. The oil is added to diesel oil to get a less polluting fluid. The stems and the green leaves are used to feed animals. It means it's a food for animals. The rape plant is a meliferous plant, same as they gather bees gather pollen and make honey. And the color of the rape plant is yellow. Now question number six. The sunflower has this name because it blooms only in the sun. It rotates after the sun. It produces seeds. It opens in the sun. It brings the sun to our homes. Sunflower has this name. You can see in the para. Comes from the face. Fact that its uh, flower faces toward the sun. So it rotates after the sun. B is correct. Now question number seven. The sunflower seeds are not edible. No, they are nutritious. Yes, black, oily, poisonous. No, are not poisonous because they are edible. So E is correct. The ray plant is meliferous plant because bees make honey from its pollen. Yes, we can extract honey from its seeds. The core of them is sweet. Its flower rotate of the sun. We extract oil from its seeds. Bees make honey from its pollen. A is correct. Now question number 9. We have done 8. Yes, 9. The green reed plant is used for obtaining oil, dressing some meals, obtaining textile fiber, production of colors, feeding animals. You have seen it's a feeding animals for use for feeding animals. What color are the flowers? The plant, ray plant, red, yellow, black, blue, white. You can see that were yellow. Answer D is correct. Question number 10 done. Now another information. The giraffe is the tallest terrestrial animal. When we use terrestrial, it means it can live on land. Males may reach 5.5 .5 meter height and a weight of 900 kilogram. It has small horns covered by skin. It can close their nostril nose completely to keep out dust. The giraffe's tongue is about 45 centimeter long. It is black and is useful for grasping leaves as well as for grooming and cleaning the animal's ear. The hippopotamus may reach The hippopotamus may reach a length of 3.5 meter, a height of 1.5 meter, and a weight of 3,000 kilogram. Its skin is very thick and almost hairless. You can see there are no hair. During the day, it sleeps and rests in water. It closes its nostrils when it submerges. It gets out on the land at night to eat grass. Now, giraffe. Now, zebra. The zebra reaches 1.5 meter of height. And 500 kilogram of weight its stripes come on different patterns unique to each individuals and have a role in its camouflage it can eat grass and sometimes leaves and bark bark is a covering of plant zebras can hardly be dem domesticated and therefore cannot be used for riding the white rhinoceros is a massive land mammal it has a very thick skin covered with little hair it reaches a length of four meter and a weight of three five hundred kilogram 
It has poor vision, but excellent senses of hearing and smell. Rhinos, rhino often have thick eating bird, thick eating birds named Pufugus, Pufugus on their back. Pufugus, which clean them from parasites, you know? Pufugus is a bird and that clean its back from parasite. Well done. Now come to the questions. Now question number 11. The following animal does not live in Africa. The zebra, the hippopotamus, the kangaroo, the rhinoceros. Obviously kangaroo. B is correct. The hippopotamus and the rhinoceros are, have horns, very thick skin, long neck, long fur. B is correct. Very thick skin. What are Pufagas. Pufagas, I have told you that are birds. Insects which live on zebra's back. Birds which clean the rhinoceros from parasite. Yes, it is correct. Parasites which stay on hippopotamus skin. Baby rhinoceros, big gazing animals. No, P is correct. They are birds. The hippopotamus eats do, during uh, only during the day. Has stripes with camouflage roll. No, it's not a zebra has almost 1.5 of height a 900 kilogram of weight this likes water emerges during the night from water to eat yes hippopotamus emerges during the night from water to eat now question number 15 which of three animals in the picture above are grazing animals only the zebras and the rhinoceros, only the giraffe and the zebra, only the hippopotamus and the zebra, only the rhinoceros and giraffe, all are four, all are four are grazing animals. Now another comprehension. Chamomile is a herb. Herb are small plants. Herb are small plant. They are green plant. The plant which are soft and green stems are called herbs. Chamomile and St. John's rot are herb. With thin leaves and round flowers. The strong smell it grows by the side of the road in meadows in form of bushes maximum 60 cm tall. They use the plant flowers which are collected in May, June during the dry and sunny season. Chamomile is one of the most popular medicinal herbs in Europe. It's mainly used as disinfectant externally on wounds as a soothing and calming tea. It's, it can be used to make tea. Uh, San Jose rot is an herb. The flowers have Thin petals and are grouped towards the tip of the stem leaves, viewed in the light, show small transparent points. People use flowers for the plant which harvested from June to September and dry them in shade. From flowers, they prepare tea, pills, tinctures and oil. St. John's rot is used in treatment of digestive diseases and wound healing. Now the questions. Okay, question number 16. You can make dash with chamomile flowers, tea, jam, honey, oil, juice. A, T. The chamomile plant may grow to a maximum height of 20 cm, 60 cm, 40 cm, 50 cm, 30 cm, 60 cm. What color are the petals of the chamomile flower? Red, blue, white, orange, yellow. White. You can see. T, 60 centimeter tall. Okay. 
if put or on skin St. John's rot products have calming effect in stomach ache, cause skin irritation, keep the other, keep the body warm, heal the wounds, keep your body cool. D. What color are St. John rot flowers? Red, blue, white, purple, yellow, yellow. That's all about sample paper of a collier label. So you have to focus on information so you can get answer very easily. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Wish you good luck. Allah Hafiz.